<laughs> Forgot to turn on the camera. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Monday evening entertainment here on Back to Warcraft. And we got something special for you, everybody. Something very, very, very special as we take the new PTR balance to FFA. Hells yeah. Three amazing players. Four amazing players, I'm sorry, as this is of course a four-player FFA. And two amazing casters! So, let's see what the Devotion Aura, or as we call them, the Divine Aura, does to the humans on this patch. This was all organized by the man on the line with me. Hello, Rulas. Oh, Neo, Neo. Stressful this time. <laughs> oh, why is that? Ah, uh, you know, uh, some guys don't want to play versus other guys. Some guys don't want to play for less than X bucks. Some guys don't want to play on Battle.net. Some guys don't want to play PTR. And then I, would, I really tried to get a game on PTR with four different races. And yeah, given all these circumstances, it's a little bit hard to do so. And even now it's like, yeah. Custom keys are not working. What do I have to do? I can't find PTR. Um, Reforge graphics and other settings are not like they are. So yeah, <laughs> not the easiest preconditions tonight. Okay, so we're playing on the actual PTR server or are we playing on somewhere else? Oh, that's why I couldn't find it. We are actually on the PTR. Yeah, that explains a lot. I thought uh, we implement the balance to a map as we've done with the one-on-one -on -one games. Okay, now I have to check my settings as well. Not that we have uh, Reforge graphics for two hours. That yeah. would probably yeah. yes. destroy <laughs> my reputation. <laughs> no, but I think it's looking fine. And there we All go. Right. Yes. Um, okay, we, we got... get a sack from one of the players, and Sheik was still trying with the custom keys, but I guess it should work. Good. So yeah, yeah it's uh, it's all the, uh, their own settings here on the PTR. So hopefully everybody got that fixed. Yeah, chat is wondering already. No hawk. Hawk was one of the players who didn't want to play below. I think a hundred dollars for the win. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so then the problem, you. yeah, and that's not even the biggest issue. Like, it would be even fine for me, but yeah, then he is Russian, and then the next set of troubles occur with the payments. Uh, How so do I, you pay him? Get your crypto I, I, ready. I rather not want to go this route then. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, that is uh, understandably so. We got four amazing players anyway, as it is uh, Bobby OG, one of the strongest human players, who probably burst it out in tears uh, when he read the patch notes. We got Kolbe's Orc, uh, we got Stein then as Night Elf and Sheik as so often representing the undead. Yeah, very nice, very nice. So all good players for their respective races, I would say. Um, and yeah, like what's the best way to bridge the time? We could talk about the one we won. Like I, I was really fascinated by the games, like Happy versus Fortitudes. I really enjoyed the game as an FFA player <laughs> and because it, it wasn't just about denying other player the other player to get high heroes and to get up expansions and stuff but yeah rather both build armies build expansions and then go for it yeah and a lot of tanks a lot of base races so what do you want more <laughs> yeah i guess uh people ha have to educate the one-on-one -on -one players how to properly play the tanks uh with yeah i was a bit surprised especially uh from happy like he didn't spread out a single acolyte on the map right that's what it i would said be the so entire nice time. He had a, he, and, and instead he went for like two necropolis in, in his main base so i was a little bit surprised about that but amateur yeah. don't don't psh, don't tell him we like that he loses maps it is <laughs> kind of yeah, yeah. it was good that it was very even for a weekend okay don't drop him any dms on how to play properly versus tanks <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't think he will listen <laughs> tonight. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Uh, we got yeah. some subs. Thank you, Zeta CS2, for the six month resub. Oh, yeah, FFA less than three. Play the encore. Can't escape the game in Buffalo Trace with the 17 month. Much love. Um, I think uh, a feature that is coming with the patch that is uh, not often talked about is that you can save games again. That should be beneficial to long FFA games like yours. Oh, yeah. I was reading that and I thought this was the most like overseen change like this is amazing isn't it yeah it's still a little odd uh players are ready but we got two orcs i don't know if you want to uh, fix that uh, yeah it's, it's fine it's fine okay um i it's it's i think i said we go from the stone age to the bronze age because for a player to be able to save the game he's not allowed to lag. So if the problem is um, that, that someone is lagging, you can't save it immediately, right? So I don't know if it does much, but it's amazing for some custom game players, I guess. Yeah, maybe maybe in FFA we should, we should do like um, save every 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, but then there's a big fight and everything changes. Yeah, and what's yeah, the, yeah. What's the save yeah, yeah, okay. uh, We would yeah. still love like a resume from replay but it is a small step even though it's not the greatest step uh, but it's a great step forward for us that the players are here the castles are here the map has been started and we just go right in ptr yes. 1.3 6.1 balance in ffa yeah and it's very nice we don't have a player being in a surround so it should be like Two pretty clear 1v1s, so Stein and Bobby on the right-hand side and Sheik and Cope on the left-hand side. So yeah, Sheik uh, decided to go un uh, go, go Orc instead of Undead and yeah, looking at the PTR patch notes, I think it makes a lot of sense. Like I still don't understand why Bladestorm was buffed and <laughs> guys like you? Well, 1v1 players were arguing about it. Like, is there ever a Bladestorm in 1v1? <laughs> uh, rarely, and then it's oftentimes <laughs> underwhelming if you use it against the army. Um, uh, but as, of course, uh, a big fan of FFA, I know how strong a Bladestorm can be if you yeah, exactly. control it correctly and use it correctly. And yeah, that's yeah. that's sick. Yeah, and the, and the mirror image buff before, ha of, before the hand was already very very sick and now with the new item that even stacks with an orb i think with the orb effect wow i'm not sure man if this is balanced like bladestorm got buffed before <laughs> with the cooldown decrease and now we suddenly have a plus like 50 percent almost damage increase Rulers. which is really insane like bladestorm is pretty much the best way of uh, for orc to deal with towers Rulers. And it's very nice of you that you want to talk about the orc balance changes, but as a human player, can you really complain about this patch? <laughs> you get a million armor, and that's the reason for the paladin here as well. Like, oh, paladin! Yeah, nice. good. Good luck, all the players, to destroy anything that Bobby is building later. Oh, we see paladin rifles in FFA. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> I wonder why that is. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> we might figure it out. <laughs> nah, but I'm, I'm, I'm totally with you. Like, Bladestorm does a lot more damage now, and this, this could also be very threatening in late game one-on-one. -on -one. You can destroy a haunted gold mine with that ultimate. You can destroy a, a lot of buildings with that, and it's almost, uh, it's uh, over a thousand damage, I think. Yeah. So... Yeah, uh, not necessary in my opinion, but we'll see how much havoc uh, drinks later tonight. Yeah, and also great against backlines like castles, like talents, like riots, yeah. everything like this will just die in seconds, literally two to three seconds. So yeah, rough, rough. Like, I guess that's also the uh, reason why Sheik is gonna go for the orc, and also of course for the blade master, and even Kolb is going for the blade master, who we know is usually a big um, proponent of the alchemist. Yeah, not today though. Uh, curious to see what Bobby is doing, cause also a th uh, uh, what uh, Stein is doing. Sorry, cause when I read the patch notes, I thought FFA is screwed. Necro wagons is buffed. B 
big time. So good luck defending that. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. Like the first initial Necrogon push is gonna be very hard. And I think if I remember correctly, Stein is going for Alchemist. Yeah, and he's going for Alchemist. Um, like Stein is known to be a a player who builds very big main bases, likes to hoard and likes to lame slash balance the game with it. Mm -hmm. And he also goes for Necro Wagons, if I recall correctly. So we will. Uh, we will see some necros tonight. Yeah, that's of course what we're here for. To explore the new balance and see how broken it is. Did any one of you guys test it already on the new PTR? Or is this the first yes, time? Yes, like, like there were in the FFA Discord, there were like videos posted. Like in 1v1, you you are pogging with you are seeing a, a pickaxe from a ranged hero doing a stun one yep. time yep. every eight shots yeah but yeah <laughs> in the ffa discord there is already a video with a, an arc mage with six pickaxes yep. against the demon hunter and the demon hunter d doesn't hit the arc mage one single time before he dies we posted so that <laughs> on our socials as well plus we figured yep. out that uh, an alchemist with frenzy and two pickaxes is also perma bashing. Oh, uh, that's already the enough. Yeah, I see, I see. So yeah, I guess Alchemist then a very good choice, and especially in FFA, like you have hero arena stages. So I yeah. really wonder how this is gonna play out. And I don't say it's. I mean, yeah, I say pretty much it's gonna be bad, but <laughs> still very curious how it would look like in the end. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Me too. All right, anything else in the patch notes that we have to discuss for FFA? Yeah, uh, the is, would be, I hmm. think, playable now. Oh, but, okay. Yeah, it, it's it's already a little bit of a very niche hero. But I think it's it's playable now, as I said. Like one Panda Tinker triple AoE with a lot of Moonwells high levels can be very, very dangerous. Late game stages so, yeah. with invulnerable spirits could be interesting for like poking, like you do with treants, scouting, of course. Mm -hmm. And then the emulation buff doesn't really matter, nerf rather, it doesn't really matter for FFA. Also, the upgrades for the orc, I think they are nice though, because orcs are really lumber stuff. They always need two shredders pretty much. And also, here we see the orcs getting the shredders, so that's already good for them. Because, yeah, Orc need a lot of Lumber, and I think the Spirit Walker buff would help against the Necro Wagon push. Yeah, it's 20 seconds uh, faster until you have the spell on your first Walker. So that's yeah, a lot it's... in Warcraft. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, the Orc that... Lumber change was, I think, the only thing that I proposed that got in. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's a very nice change doesn't hurt anyone, I guess. We gotta dis maybe discuss movement speed, um, cause several Yeah, exactly, heroes... that's what I just wanted to say. I think it's more relevant than it might look like in first. Like even for the Paladin, like Paladin was already too slow and now it's slower. Yeah, Panda as well, Alchemist as well. And yeah, especially in FFA where movement speeds and every hero likes to have boots, especially in, this, in the later stages of the game. In combination with the auras, I think it's... Yeah, we already see boots on the Paladin for yeah. Bobby. Makes so a lot yeah, of sense. I think it's it's definitely something to, to watch out for. And I still don't know which heroes still have the, the good movement spin and how much it is. <laughs> um, the, well, it's all like the Arc heroes Mage, on Blade a Master, horse. Demon Hunter. All the heroes on a horse, all the heroes with uh, four feet or legs. Oh. And the Blood Mage also got good movement speed. So do you know how much it is? Is it 300? Is it 310? Uh, Blood Mage and Pit Lord have 300 and everyone else has 320. Okay. Except the ones that were nerfed. And yeah, I guess that's then a kind of big difference. Yeah. If you have 280 or 320. Agility heroes also have 320. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Blade Master is Yeah, fast. yeah, I just, just saw him. Yeah. So yeah, I guess that's another good thing for Orc with the Auras. 
and having pretty much all heroes with high movement speed except the TC. Yeah, so do we already have a pickaxe? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately it not. It should be the yellow spots, um, these ones that drop them. Okay, let's go. Bl Blade Master with pickaxe, I like. You can see that Bobby nope. uh, doesn't read the patch notes. He skilled Holy Light 2 over Devotion Aura 2. Can you believe it? Oh my god. <laughs> Amateur. So do we see Pala, Panda... Oh, Blood Match first, so no Mountain King. Oh, I really wonder wow. why that is. Because Mountain that King is really insane with the new bash, I would say. Yes, especially in like late game Hero Arena with level 7, 8, 9, whatever. 75 damage on a bash is pretty insane. Yeah, well, but what well, you can also have a Blood Mage with bash. So I think it's, it's better to have a ranged hero with bash than... Well, if you find the game. item, yeah. It, yeah. sh it should power yeah, up in the marketplace. Been one, yeah. uh, it should be in the marketplace, of course. Yeah. So we'll see about that. And fight starting. Who do we got? Wow. <laughs> Stein is going on chic. That's uh, brave. Yeah, especially yeah, with only yeah. one hero. <laughs> yeah. Uh, interesting, but okay. The necros aren't even here yet, waiting for disease cloud and some upgrades. Okay, so we don't have the uh, top right versus top right and bottom left versus bottom left. This means that, yeah, Bobby is gonna be on Corp and Bobby's already uh, has already broken upkeep, uh, being on 62 supply. And yeah, Colb really likes to hoard if he can as well, so that has been denied, and Stein denied himself to hoard, which is also <laughs> nice, I guess. So we have Sheik versus Stein and Bobby versus Colb, so yeah, hoarder versus non-hoarder two times, and that's always nice for the early game. And yeah, let's see how this is going, because it's only 45 supply against 67, so it shouldn't go too well. And that 67 supply, uh, 70, 67 supply has six armor on absolutely everything. Yes. Plus good damage output. Um, yeah, this is already troublesome. Yeah, I would assume so. Oh wow, a rifle died. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, this looks TC very good for Bobby okay, for the TP. TP. Just in time. And now we have Necro Wagons here, top left. Let's see how this is gonna go. Oh. 64 supply versus 62 supply. Ooh, doesn't he have Frenzy? Oh, he should. He doesn't apply it yet. Uh, summoning Skeletons, of course, a lot cheaper now. Cut in half, uh, not cut in half, but cut is costing only 50. Uh, and you see very little impact. Uh, could potentially be very, very strong with that. Yeah, now we have Master Spirit Walkers. That's a big difference in holding a Necro Weapon push. Yeah. 40 seconds earlier for them, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And it's always a very nice feat. <laughs> she is having a good time. <laughs> Yeah, so far the favorites prevail. Yeah, and I'm really curious how this is gonna go in the later stages of the game because on this map we have the very best items. We have Katka's Chamber of Help, Step of Silence, Panel of Mana, all the good stuff. <laughs> and we have this level 3 item with the with the pickaxe. So. Rust, rusty Mining Pick. Yeah, I really hope it's in there because we still didn't see it yet and Sheik was at the Merchant. Yep. But definitely should be in there, as everything else is also on the PTR stage. Oh, Bobby is going for Sheik now. Oh, interesting. Yeah, maybe he doesn't feel like he's going to get a lot of XP against Cope. And he knows that Sheik is going to farm yeah. uh, Stein now. So on level 5 Paladin, you surely go for Aura, right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, the panda is already on 1200 HP, so would speak 
in favor of holy light. And in FFA, you you definitely get level seven first heroes. So yeah, maybe not the biggest difference. But yeah, already plus eleven armor <laughs> on the rifleman. And it's not even an upgrade, man. It's a ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> still no mining pick, but we got some scepter of silence and another push by Stein. Or not push, but a hold by Stein attempt at least. Yeah, level three versus level four, three, two. Maybe not the easiest hold. Of course, a lot of experience thanks to the dispel. Nice stomp coming in, but not the craziest level yet. New skeletons, new XP. Dude, these walkers really make an impact. Yeah, I mean, they have so much mana. They have like six dispels on this single walker, and I think it doesn't even have a cooldown. That's crazy. So yeah, this is gonna be an easy snack here for Sheik. Sheik farming, yep, looks like it. In the meantime, we get more subs. Thank you, Butcher. One, two, three, four, five, six for the 15 month. Have a nice week, Neo and Rulers. And Disengage TV coming in with 23 months. Disengage here of Disengage TV, powered by Gord VPN. Summing in support of Back to Warcraft, few months till Rara Land. It's only weeks. My dude, I hope you booked the right date. And a 2 euro super chat coming in by White Bandit, as we are on YouTube now as well. Hope we see happy again in the FFA scene. Oh, also gonna be expensive. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> he cle he clearly didn't enjoy tanks in one on one and in FFA it's not going to be less of them. Yeah, but he's playing in this um, Chinese. I'm not sure is it called chicken something chicken <laughs> tournament. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and there there was like an FFA every day and I think he won two out of three FFAs with all yeah. these Chinese pros like Fortitude, Infi, Fly, and these other guys. They wouldn't know so how yeah, to play. Uh, and and. Yeah, this, this was even worse than I think the FFA that he had to face here on the uh, FFA <laughs> night because they were chatting and not only they were, were they chatting, but they were chatting in Chinese oh, all the time. Oh, that's Happy. so mean. He doesn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Another attempt of dealing with Devotion Aura. Uh, Devotion Aura isn't even here yet. Was the Paladin staffed? Uh, I guess Paladin's so. Now oh, here. Right, no, they're right there. Yep, and we got 11 armor on him. But he picked Holy Light. What a fool. Oh, yeah. Nice oh, revives. Yeah, very nice fight. Very, very nice fight. Uh, super hard hero combo to play, by the way. I think whenever you have a Blood Mage, it's uh, very micro intense to play. But it looks very, very nice what he does. Yeah, Blood Mage right. definitely a little tankier with the Inner Fire and Aura and gets rid of all the mana here. Sweet yeah, very nice indeed. fight here. Wow, that was very, very impressive. Pretty much lost nothing. Yeah. And uh, we talked about this um, in our one-on-one -on -one discussion. As an orc, how do you kill griffins? Um, yeah, with the new Devotion Aura, it's particularly difficult. Yeah. Um, yeah, usually you are going for a Spirit Walker Dispel on the Inner Fire, and then you are either playing a lot of bats or usually also Y1 on the counter if there isn't a Panda. Uh, so yeah, a lot of Micro is involved, a lot of hit and run. Um, it's possible, but it's not the easiest task. And the high-level blade master with stacked items and stuff is also very good. All right, let's see if that works out. Uh, back then, it always required an alchemist to get rid of the armor. Sheik, crying a lot here, saying, "I'm gonna quit if you don't help me." A typical of him. <laughs> so, what do we have here now? Is yeah, Bobby is just also attacking everyone. Very nice. Oh man, these torrents just disappear. Banish yeah, very nice. Griffin's very nice breath. synergy here with these three <laughs> heroes. <laughs> yeah, picking Orc against Bobby was maybe not the right call.
but we are just in the early game. Everything can still happen at any given time. But I guess Bobby is pretty much the clear winner of that early game. Um, except in the gold department where it's all still pretty even. And yeah, very nice catch by Bobby here. To see that uh, Colby's on 50. So yeah, whenever you see someone who's on 50, you gotta punish him. And that's what Bobby's doing here. <laughs> Colby's saying I'm not and engages with three heroes. <laughs> 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 well, and the bats, uh, and you see already two bats, not nearly yep. enough for the griffin. Yep. And Sheik is now joining. Ooh, revenge, a little bit of a revenge here by Sheik. Helping Kolp, who is on, on 50. The horde runs together. There's always a staff, there's always a holy yeah, light. Of course, Sheik is a little bit annoyed still that Bobby was interrupting him against Stein. And yeah, armor is building up for the Griffins, for everything. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, uh, they say it as well. Bats are so bad now, I think they're not valued, they're just too expensive. Yeah, very cost inefficient. So that's why orcs also like to hoard a lot. Just to be able to trade bets for XP. And that's another TP out here for Bobby. Maybe because Ste uh, Stein is on him, yeah, exactly. Ah, for Sheik, you mean? Bobby is still in there yep. with new bets yep. arriving, <laughs> detonating, I don't know, six of them. Nice dodge yeah. with the invul potion against the breath. TC survives. Yeah, but at least getting some hero levels now. Level 5 Blade Master is a good starter here. To also deal with the Griffins later on. Alright, dust settles a bit. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, Bobby is not making any friends tonight. Yep, and Kolb is really not. Feeling confident here to push on 3k gold. Like he's on two, 27 supply only, wow. And 2k gold, okay, now he's pumping. But that's a pump to 46 supply, which is not too impressive. And Bobby doing really well here on the economy. 66 supply, 4k gold. A very low econ game because there was pretty much no hoarding. And also, it's still a four way, so no additional gold, gold mines for anyone. Oh, next push, this time by Sheik on Stein, wants to finish what he started earlier uh, and get rid of that pesky undead. Free up more mines in the north. Oh, we got a pickaxe, by the way. Sheik has one. On the blade. Oh, really? On the blade. And Ooh, Cole also nice. on and the blade. I was just checking the markets and thought, oh my god, there's really none. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Sheik and Cole both. Yeah, Rusty that should already pick. be nice on a level 5 Bloodlusted Blade Master. You I know mean, that, it, that it doesn't yeah. work on Dryads and Spellbreakers? It doesn't? Nope. Oh, no, I didn't know. <laughs> it's of course 100% intended by Blizzard for balance <laughs> reason, <laughs> I assume. What? The illusion also does stun? What? Really? Is it just the animation or is it really a stun? Uh, the anima okay, it's just the animation. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, that would be so sick. In a yeah, hero yeah, arena yeah. with the pickaxe blade master with the loot. <laughs> <laughs> there is the stun animation, but it's not a stun. Okay, okay. It would be so funny. No, no. <laughs> it would not be funny at all. Only the first time, I guess. Yeah, only the it. first time. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Okay, Paladin is already level 6, and yeah, that's crazy, right? It's like Paladin with Resurrection. Yeah. First, you can't kill anything, and if you yeah. finally do, he just revives it all. And this could really be a nice, synchronized takeout of the two weaker players here. Yeah, Bobby and Sheik, of course, the two favorites. Sheik, uh, very, very hurt, so this is major problems for Kolb. Trying to throw the bats in there, but oh man, absolutely no chance. 
Yeah, and I think Sheik is a little bit going for the slow kill here. For yeah, the why not? Toming. He can tome, exactly. Is it normal, by the way, that Stein only has one hero? Yeah, like his goal is to get to level 6 as soon as possible. Ah, okay. So, yeah, he almost got level 5. <laughs> yes! <laughs> that, went, right. that went sideways a little bit. Bad. Justify them! Justify them! Oh, we didn't justify the memes. Oh, and yeah, Cole really pumped army uh, until he's totally broke. So also lumber staffed, which means he's not going to be able to hide anything. And that's pretty much game for him, I guess. And on the other side, I'm not sure. Sheik might be a little bit too slow here, but he is trying to stack up his heroes a bit on the choosing marketplaces. And yeah, also Bobby's heroes already look decent item-wise. Okay, and Sheik is helping. I wonder why that is. Hmm. hmm maybe just extend the He wants the to prolong, prolong the four-way. Huh? He wasn't too happy about it in the first place. Yeah, maybe... But maybe he's still angry on <laughs> Bobby for the initial <laughs> interference. Yeah, I mean, you see how strong a human army is. Uh, you might yeah, want to yeah. team up and get him out. Even in a four-way. Yeah, true. In a four-way, you can team to death anyone you like, because there is still room to balance. And there's a surround on the panda. It's Invo. I didn't notice too many bashes just yet, but I mean, with purge and bash, that is, uh, it's hard to see. Yeah, I think here it's not even too relevant because you anyway have the orb. Yeah. Uh, it's. Uh, yeah, I think it's more about hero arena and more about if you want to step out to interrupt and stuff like this. Yeah. Oh, so Pally? Yeah. Go. Got level 6, still at 69 food. Didn't revive or doesn't have to revive anything. Ah, loses some water now. That hurts a bit, but he's rich enough. Definitely richest player in the game. 3-3 uh, three, three upgrades coming in as well. Or 3-3-3, three, 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 I guess that is then. And we got an another sub by Benzin Mogul with a tier 2, 50 month. Much love. Alright, we get... Uh, frost worms in the mix for Stein. Once again, not being affected by balance. Too weak. Need need better toys. All right, level five blood mage. I guess that's level three. Siphon mana. As I haven't seen the second spell yet. I think it's banished. Maybe, yeah. Should be banished, yeah. yeah. But yeah, level 3 Siphon Mana is of course amazing. Sheik so is yeah. making use of the stage new of the game. As well. Right side on Bobby, left side on Sheik, and top and bottom a little bit uh, for both of the yeah. remaining two players. And maybe an engagement here 80 versus 80. Sheik versus Bobby. It's gonna be a very interesting fight here. Nice immediate dispel on the silence. And no breakers to steal any wards. He got no mana on the Shadow Hunter to heal anything, so that's a problem. Oh yeah. Both Six, are making good use 55. of upgrades. A player's forces are under attack. And Sheik has very balanced resources. He's not lumber starved or anything. Maybe sign up the new upgrades as he's already at 3-3. Three, three. Mm -hmm. But he's uh, quite low on production buildings, uh, uh, only two mysteries, which can be a problem versus human air. But yeah, now getting another one. So yeah, should be fine. And I think still no pickaxes in the market ever. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I'm really curious. I think it would be too early even at the moment to get them. Like, I don't think 
they add too much value at the moment. Like all these um, pennants of mana auras are currently way more important when there are still bigger armies. Yeah, I agree. In FFA early game, it doesn't really do much. Um, you'd rather go for spell shields, silence, auras, etc. But it can probably decide a one-on-one -on -one early game if you find it quickly. Uh, do you mean FFA 1v1 or an 1v1? Uh, regular 1v1. Okay, yeah, I'm curious about that. I still think it's a little bit o overhyped, but what? maybe I'm wrong. What? Get yeah. out of here. <laughs> you just want to pickaxe on your Archmage. I know you. Uh, yeah, I just find it nice to have an additional way to deal with a Tinker. Well, the first way <laughs> to deal with a Tinker. <laughs> well, yeah, for that it's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, because you finally can prevent the staff. If you're lucky, yeah, true. Yeah. yeah true. But yeah, not, not a fight in the Blood Mage, but very nice micro again. Boy, pretty much here with three heroes, two units, managing Sheik here. That is so impressive. I mean, with Holy Light, so much sustain. Yeah, really, really nice. Now the perfect banish. And the next Holy Light is gonna come soon. Oh, even go Holy Light on the Griffin. Very greedy, but looks fine. Panda level 6 as well, almost. And then Panda also not gonna die. Doesn't look like anything is dying here. No. The entire fight here for Bobby, and yeah, we see it. I think one or two riflemen got resurrected. <laughs> so insane fight here again here by Bobby against Cheek, just outplaying him here. It is 12 armor without the third level of devotion aura and without inner fire. That's just wow. That's yeah, just and nuts. the next level of devotion is not far at all. Yeah. It was kind of cool to see the Blade Master with Bloodlust. Uh, lots of bashes and purges and everything there. But yeah, I mean, there's a clear winner of this PDR so far. That's Devotion Aura. Yeah, definitely. I think that's definitely. I mean, that it was so obvious. Like, it was the most yeah. obvious thing and for no reason at all. Like, no one ever complained about <laughs> anything. It's the most ah, funny Ah, don't underestimate one-on-one -on -one human players, r rulers. They complain about everything. Yeah, but I I even watched uh, Lemmes, the guy who always <laughs> plays Pedal Rifles, and even he said that's a bad change. Yeah, that... <laughs> Doesn't uh, make any sense. That is correct. He will be probably the Europe's best player in half a year. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, we've, we've seen before that the first iterations of the PTR uh, got removed here a lot of the time. Like, yeah. otherwise we would have heavy armor siege tanks, I guess. <laughs> that can attack stuff ground like units. this. Yep. Like, three chimeras kill one tank and stuff. <laughs> I am surprised that Stein is still living. And he's getting close to his dream of getting transmute. <laughs> Ooh, a human player bought a brilliant Zora. That is rare to see. Yep, and it feels so good here. And level 7 Paladin also feels so good here. <laughs> As wow. a human player, it absolutely does. 15 armor on a rifleman. It is now 15 armor on a. Yeah, rifleman. the thing is, do you even need inner fire? Like. If you have now more armor, it's not, it's diminishing returns, right? So, and I mean, yeah, okay, now you have the Brilliance Aura, but still priests are always so low mana if you don't have an Archmage. So maybe it's not even too worth here with these heroes. For the memes, you should definitely and do it. He's getting rid of the rifles that he just resurrected before. Okay. But yeah, needs to get better stuff like knights, like Riffins. Or Breakers, of course, to steal awards, finally. Yeah. Breakers will also have insane armor values. They already oh, yeah, have quite right. some high armor. Yeah, <laughs> Sheik is making sure that this is his gold mine again. Main is running out in a bit. Oh, Blade Master now has two rusty mining. Picks. Oh, we stack him. Nice. Okay, okay. Yeah, that is now 30% uh, bash chance. 
Yeah, I'm really curious, like, what's the perfect build in this patch? Like, you can have everything. You can have Helm of Valors, you can have Claws plus 12, whatever you want on this map. Uh, so I really wonder if the pickaxe is really, really this good, especially in this stage of the game. But yeah, maybe if you then start to get a permanent dash or permanent stun on a hero, yep. that's where it's get re getting really crazy. Yep, especially with Bloodlust, this should be perma... Oh no, it's not perma bash territory because Alchemist also has chemical rage. But yeah, we're we it's getting very hard to run away from this blade, that's for sure. Yeah, especially you can't TP out at some point anymore, so you need two TPs. <laughs> two. Well, and yeah, big attack here now up. by Sheik. He thinks that's the best target, and I agree because Necromancer gives so much XP if you have uh, Spirit Walker mana. He only has two spirit walkers and only two dispels left uh, spends a lot of mana on the spirit link i'm not sure if that's the correct decision against necros because oh, now he has zero dispels pretty much i'd love to see but the yeah. blade storm now or oh you're right but here's a mirror image so it's not going to be easy I, I think he already tries to get in yeah. position here yeah absolutely yeah looks now like he it. slowly gets through and we see it's nice boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah. oh, oh boy. yeah that's a Whole God. different story now. <laughs> wow. What? That's just way too much. Yo, that ult is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, this must be a nice smile on his face now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. There was also a heal scroll and heal spray. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's so much damage. I mean, what's 160 per second? Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> that's almost two seconds for a Necromancer, so three seconds for one. <laughs> Just micro, bro. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. what I'm Thank saying. It's, it's great against buildings, it's great against uh, backlines of any race. And it's just, it's just, again, it just doesn't make sense because no one asked for it and yep. it was already very good and solo players never get it anyway. <laughs> Rarely, yep. And it works against Magic Immune, uh, to keep that in mind as well. Bye bye, Breakers. Yep. Yeah, yeah, these Breakers are gonna be, suffer a lot here sooner or later. So it's a wise choice that he is going for Griffins with plus 14 armor. Because that's where Orc has a little bit more issues dealing with. Oy, 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 oy. Yeah, clearly an impact here. Um, also, every sub makes an impact. Just like Steve OK, 96, 18 month resub. Love you, Neo. Your performance are grand. Just grand. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, oh, and now we have a scroll of protection as well. So we're now at plus 16 on the Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 22. Armor, 57% damage reduction. Yep, and the Paladin even 58. All right, <laughs> doesn't really matter. Dude, this oh, and we don't have Spirit Walker here with this spell. We, I don't see a dispel here, and that's a lot of armor. But here we can see clearly the counter here. Bats into the Chiros, Y1 into the Griffins, and suddenly it's looking very good here for Cope. Showing again that in the big fights he's doing pretty well, as he showed before against Dice. Correct, that surprised us a lot in an earlier weekly. Uh, the poison damage of Wyvern, of course, is ignoring yeah, armor. Big. Good point, good point. And the panda now, also big trouble. Whee! It would be nice to have a pickaxe here now. He does on the Shadow Hunter, though. Oh, on the Shadow Hunter, yeah. Ah, big orange bird! Nice to see. And the Wyvern are now very, very vulnerable against this. And 32 supply. Rip. Yeah, rip indeed. Um, still good fight. Blade Master falls though. Ooh, and she is coming for the rescue though again. So that's gonna be a TP out because the Paladin will fall otherwise. Yeah, okay, nice. Yeah, yeah I guess he clearly done doesn't done. want an even more dominant Bobby in the late game. Wow, he's on 11k gold. <laughs> What's the yeah, I mean, deal? he's not losing anything. So That's he doesn't so have impressive. to rebuild anything. Sick. 
Six, 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 six. And yeah, Cole pretty much spent all his gold for this, I think, 90 to 100 supply army that he had. And now he's on 900 gold, pretty much no impact anymore in this game. I mean, not yet, not for the next couple of minutes. And Stein is getting to level six alchemist territories. Slowly but steady. But also quite starved on the gold. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to crack this nut. Stein still somehow struggling for level six. Uh, it's not moving, can't do anything really. Oh, the Phoenix, bad timing here to respawn. And also again, this is not enough anti-air. It feels tanks now coming in. Uh, Phoenix dies, that's a lot of XP. So yeah, tanks. I ne I'm never too sure how whether I like tanks against Orc because they are so quick. Like the orc is so quick uh, in kiting tanks, so they are never really get the DPS in in that they need. And yeah, Bobby's also known to not like liking to go on to 100 supply, yeah. even if he is one versus two. But yeah, at the moment only Sheik on him, and that's his uh, 80 versus 80 fight. So let's see, gonna be a very nice fight. Bladestorm should be ready as well. Oh yeah. Should hit uh, the air units, I guess. But against breakers, it's yeah, the breakers. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Wow, nice. the pickaxe stuns them. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can also purge during. Uh, yeah, yeah, during you can. Oh, but it, it looked like two breakers were stunned at the same time there. <laughs> like I'm not sure if this is a, an AOE stun. No, I have no <laughs> idea. That would be so funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it is a damage roll still, right? So. Ooh, but there's no interrupt on the Big Bad Voodoo, so True. that's the downside of this hero combo. And yeah, no pickaxe yet. Uh, but also, very, very red army here for Sheik, and he has to get out here. Now we got Inner Fire. First thing is welcome, that's level 7 Blood Mage. The Ouch. End. Wow, again, pretty much domination here by, by Bobby. Even though two Orc ultimates kicked in. And yeah, Colt now on Bobby. And yeah, that's a big disadvantage without Mass TP. Uh, yeah. You are very vulnerable to teaming if you are in the dominant position. Because if you have an Archmage with Mass TP, you could now Mass TP into Corp's main base or into Sheik's main base. Uh, but yeah, like this, you're very slow on the map as human usually already is. Yeah. Okay, maybe that's how they get him out. Also, Stein got his level 6, got the ultimate. Yeah, and also Sheik trying to keep Stein low all the time, picking up stuff. And he saw that he is doing not well against Bobby in a 1v1. So he needs definitely the level 6 TC and some other hero levels. But yeah, now Bobby is on Kolb and Kolb trying to evacuate here with the 7 in OK lands on the island. I oh! Guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oops! Didn't catch that, unfortunately. But Hero Nuke is pretty crazy Ooh, with yeah, Banish. Yeah. Oh, and Brad and Griffins. And Colbus again just suffering despite 300 crits. Yep. Again, no mass TP means that Sheik is now able to deal a lot of damage and always force a TP. And there is no quick way to uh, for Bobby to go get back to Colb. So he stayed a little bit longer here, but yeah. Colb on 26 supply and not too high heroes. Yeah, the Blade Master can be a big impact. Still, here we saw Sheik very nicely dispelling the buffs on the Griffins, but also very nice counter bash, a uh, banish. But a dispel against it again. So yeah, Holy Light bash, dispel, banish, everything here. And yeah, the Blood Mage is such a nice mana sustain here. Yeah, there's Holy Light for days, there's Breath for days. Now the tanks arrive finally with Barrage, but yeah, the damage is negligible, yeah. I guess. I guess they are more Ooh. against 
buildings, but I guess the buildings. Yeah, <laughs> we got a blade storm and the town hall is gone. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just gone. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Once again, it's yeah, still very impressive by Bobby how he deals with everything the orcs throw at him. Like he's not going too heavy on the ground. Like pretty much perfect six units on the ground to resurrect the tanks that are quite tanky, and the rest go into griffins. Thank you, WHD King Size, for the sixteen month resub. And I guess we get another blade storm soon. Ah, Culp doesn't have mana. That's annoying. Mm, yeah. Oh, and I missed that Stein was uh, harassing the expo's top left of Sheik, so now he has a level 6 alchemist. Yep. Once again, you didn't listen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I sorry, said sorry. this already. Nobody ever Yo. listens to me. <laughs> There's so much. To you. <laughs> That's a, no, don't be pressured into anything. There's so much going on. Uh, it's a <laughs> bit chaotic, and we gotta read the patch notes on the side. So, uh, but yeah, that's a little bit annoying in the north. So yeah, that's why Sheik is not as rich as he could be, because yeah, Stein is killing some workers. I think he killed the expansion even once or twice. But yeah, Bobby has lost his expansions way more often and getting teamed more than that. And now even Stein transmuting a tank. So yeah, can't hold that back. And yeah, I think it's nice because it can't really be punished because Bobby is already one versus two, so he can't threaten to go on Stein now. Yeah, it's gonna be another slaughter. Like, I don't see any other way. Poor, poor Kolb. And nothing to work with, really. Yeah, the question is if Bobby isn't forced to peace now with him because Sheik is permanently on him whenever he's on Kolb. Yeah. And that was what he said in chat already. Yeah, maybe I just give it to you. The expansion. And now a nice fight again. 80 versus 70 only for Bobby. Ooh, the breath was pretty sick in all these casters. Not too much bloodlust anymore. Yeah, and bad again we have the issue of no disable. Oh, nice panda ultimate, of course. It's banished, not interrupting it. No, no, banished doesn't interrupt. It should. One hundred percent sure. Yeah, yeah. Because in yeah. FFA you always have to think about the second series for humans, and yeah. you always pretty much want to have some kind of disable. That's why Alchemist is very bad, and also Blood Mage. And with Arc Mage and Paladin is not the best choice. Dude, he fights him back again. Despite the Panda ultimate, now a little bit of healing. Everything is in a big Congo line here. Maybe time to attack for Sheik. This Blade Master yeah. with the pickaxe, I don't know if he's not too squishy. Yeah, he might have sold a pickaxe even. Oh, resurrection on one unit again. Not too good. Gotta bring it back. Okay, that's a solid fight. Yep, Blood Mage on 750 out of 550 mana. Okay, and he covers the retreat with a storm. Yeah, I really think uh, you need more HP and more armor on this blade. These Hood of Cunnings don't really do much to him. Yeah, it's like you, if there is no Helm of Valor, you are going for the Hood of Cunning if there is nothing else. But you don't like to do it. Yeah. Better than nothing, though. And right. now Kolb is hexing the... Alchemist here. Well, thanks. Was well, he going for it? He Ooh, is. The orange bird is now going down, but the blood mage in focus has a greater heal potion. Very nice, but now the phoenix in focus dies. But again, oh no! I think this is a good fight now for Sheik. Finally, probably on 
42 supply only. And uh, yeah, as I said, the tank's not really doing too much against the Y1. Yeah, the damage is straight up neglectable against Heal World in the back. Yeah, and you always just move back your Y1 in case you're taking too much damage. Yeah. Oh, that breath was sweet though. Yep. Yeah, the panda carries this pretty much alone in the air department now. Yeah, now we are pretty much down to three heroes, so th that's the hard part now for Sheik <laughs> to deal with. Yeah. And Stein is causing that Sheik is winning the fight and immediately goes for an acid bomb here. So, yep, Bobby is saved for now, I guess. And there are still three casters being chased. Ooh, there's a lot of Y1 now. Hey. Oh! Yeah, what a gift. That heal wave, definitely too late. Don't get close to a panda like that. Yep, already as the bomb was applied, level 3, which is also insane. So, yeah. Back to the hero arena ish fight. Good that the breaker is gone, but Big Orange Bird is back in the meantime. Breath of Fire, yeah, of course, not that great. In these this must fights. be a lot of fun now, these hero arena fights for the human. Oh, yeah. Relatively easy to micro if your opponent is, uh, squ is uh, squishy like that. And you got 16 armor. Oh, we see a Bladestorm here again on the castle. So that's, I think, the least imp impressive looking Bladestorm because uh, Masonry 3 Castle has a lot of HP. Yeah. Oh, Panda Stepping here. Back. Only the Panda. Oh, he was <gasps> trying to split, but got hexed before. Nice. But Perch still, as well. Split should 1. be ready. 1.7k hit points is a lot to deal with. And yeah, let's see the single Panda how he's gonna do here. Ooh, Shadow Hunter! Shadow Hunter at the moment. Who is not too stacked here. And now the rest comes in, which is only two heroes though as well. So yeah, 27 supply for Bobby at the moment. 48 for Sheik. But uh, Sheik has still a 3k gold mine here, top left. For now, and we know that Bobby doesn't like to scout, so it could be that they are many playing here now against him. And he's just gonna leave at one point. But yeah, he has still a lot of gold, so it's not like he can't reproduce. He's just gonna fight some more with his favorite heroes here. Yeah, this must be an incredible amount of fun, as you said, especially with the bird. All level 8. Sheik is not that far behind though, 776, good in competitive hero levels. And well, human bases were oftentimes super duper strong against double blade storm, I'm not too sure. Yep, that's true. And that's gotta be the most annoying thing in FFA, if someone is calling you out for pumping, if you are on 24 supply and just pump two knights, <laughs> your first two units. <laughs> Oh, the alchemist is running. Got her. Thank you, Nis Nairo, for the 48 month resub. Happy four year anniversary, mate. Oh, stab. Oh, sweet. But I think it was only an acid bump. Yeah, that's the fake out pretty much for the ah. transmute. <laughs> How long is this teaming going on? Jesus. Yeah, I mean, there was a second where Stein threw, threw an acid bomb <laughs> on the Y1 <laughs> yeah. of Sheik. Uh, but yeah, now I'm curious, like, is it really time to free one someone on 30 supply? I guess it is. I mean, the heroes are so overwhelming. Yeah. I can totally see that, but there was no ultimates anymore, so better get out. But yeah, Bobby has to be really careful now because, yeah, it's still a four-way and in a four-way you can uh, team someone to death if you are still strong enough to versus one against the uh, the next strongest player. 
which most uh, mostly is the case. Another blade stone. Yeah, the cooldown is also very, very low. And now Sheik on only 48 supply, so let's see what Bobby can do. He is also now pumping some tanks and two additional knights to be able to defend here. Yep. A apart from the teaming, not much happening and they're running a bit out of steam. They are on 50 the entire time, so Sheik, Super Ridge, Stein definitely got some gold thanks to Alchemist, first and foremost. Just Kolb in a bit of a bad spot. Yeah, I still wonder why why Sheik was not finishing someone or always helping Kolb to survive. I mean, clearly paid out. Or off, I don't know. Yeah, eh, one of them. It's, that's only for now. Ooh, and Stein loses his Alchemist here. Sheik definitely takes that XP. Good double crypt we got there. <laughs> so yeah, and now with double blade master, that's that's gonna be a lot for Bobby here to deal with. Yeah, one blade storm is probably killing the tanks, right? We don't have to worry about that too much, really. Yeah. Yeah, it's just I don't think possible to deal here with. The little supply that Bobby has, but let's see, let's see. He was quite greedy, staying at 50. So yeah, he's trying to focus on Kolb for now. Yeah, trying to get him out. He's clearly the weaker one. Trying to force a town portal and then deal with yeah. Sheik one-on-one, -on -one, but that's also getting increasingly difficult. Yeah, exactly. Wow, very nice stacked heroes by Sheik. Blood Mage. Get the Holy Light again, right when the 350 comes in. Oh, now we have the pickaxe stun. Wow, that was a lot of stun duration. Yeah, it's two seconds also on Ooh. heroes. Blade. What? Yeah. What, what did you say? It's two seconds. It two seconds on heroes? Yep. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Okay, Unlike that's, the Mountain King fun. stun, which is two on units and one on heroes, oh. the mining pick is two, two. Oh, Blade Storm again! <laughs> Yo, yeah, that's very good in fights now! <laughs> <laughs> yep, now the pickaxe makes sense. Yeah, Blade Master just a machine here. So, will Kolb continue teaming, or do they have to team Sheik now? Yeah, like, they are always complaining that Bobby is just never, never chatting. <laughs> like, even if he needs help, he... But, but yeah, now we saw. Um, it, whenever Bobby chats, you know that it's very serious. <laughs> So that's also fa uh, fine, as uh, Stein is now going on Sheik, top left, doing what he can for now. Bobby is trying to buy time, and I guess Corp should also start to go on Sheik now. But yeah, he lost the Blade Master, which means he still needs some time. But yeah, Bobby is buying that time for him. And also has time to revive his own Blood Mage now. Okay, Bobby stays in this super low supply, but oh, the resurrection oh, nice. comes in sweet. Resurrection is good. But Sheik is already there, and that's the blood mage. Oh, that's gonna be close. That's gonna be close. But is he even attacking the altar? Nope, he's going for the left knight first. Sh Oh, and now the blood match get got out. So these were the needed seconds. Okay, so run, I guess, and wait for help. Okay, we see now a shade coming in. We also have a ward by Corp directly next to the tier three. So everyone is aware of what's happening, and yeah, already all the expansions from Sheik were take, got taken out. And yeah, let's see how is Bobby doing. 
against the 73 supply with only 44. Okay, transmute here by Stein. Helps. Nasty little magpie. Going on the panda now. Stomp crit all lined up. But Shadow Hunter is once again out of mana. No potion. And of yep, course no and healing. Corpus here destroying the vault. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was on purpose. Um, so yeah. Oh, Corp is on Bobby. Yeah. Don't stop the teaming. But also on the other mm. side, there's another Necro push by Stein. <laughs> oh, nice. But also, okay, it goes on Sheik, right? So there has to be a response to that. At least since he's home, that's fine. Good scout by Koba, seeing that there's a lot of action in the production. Yep, uh, Sheik on the other hand on 11k gold should not he underestimated us here. Uh, we see another transmute. Okay, that's off little that helps. But Corp with a little bit of a misread here, I think. Stein always with this WTF, OMG, something, something. Wait, oh, the <laughs> yeah. lightning shield? Really? <laughs> no way. What happened? Sorry, I didn't I see. think the lightning shield killed him. No, not. Seriously, oh my god. Yeah, and I have no idea what the other WTF was about. Yo, and now Sheik is coming to end his life without an alchemist. Alright, so... Bobby is doing the correct thing, like if someone is not stopping and not reading the game correctly, you're just gonna go on him and either force both to lose or force him to peace if he still wants to play for win. And yeah, oh. that's really really serious if you see this much chatting. <laughs> yeah, it's really frustrating if Kolb is still continuing, and I guess Kolb's plan is to take out the tier 3 and then say yes. And that's mostly the tipping point where it's already too late. And Stein now taking hits. There's still a lot of spirit towers, but you know what the solution to that is. <laughs> yep, exactly. Oh, it doesn't hit the Black Citadel. Could have done even more. And Kolb is not stopping either. This uh, might be get an anticlimactic ending soon. Ah, oh, okay, there goes yep, I told you that he is gonna say stop yep. whenever the tier 3 is taken out. But yeah, I mean, it, it also makes a little bit sense because he wants to make sure that Bobby is not on 10k gold and repumps everything and when whenever a human loses his tier 3 it's pretty much over for him and now it would be because he can't build the most relevant units and uh, he can't even build breakers um, griffins tanks knights so everything that he needs in the late game <laughs> he can't build anymore so if he now would rebuild a town hall and tech to tier 3 this would be very, very obvious that he is super rich. Yeah. So yeah, it's, if you want to make sure that the human is not banking too much behind, uh, it's the best if you just take out the tier three and then peace. But yeah, maybe it's too late now, as um, Bobby already said. And Bobby is taking out Stein to force the freeway, so he can't be teamed to death. Um, but yeah, the question is, is going to be good enough because Kolb is only on 17 supply 2.5k gold against Sheik on almost 100 supply 9k gold so this is gonna be rough and maybe a little bit of an over teaming here from Kolb or misread of the situation at least they're building friendship that's something yeah I mean now is the latest stage where they still could and maybe it's already too late as I've said. Um, where are the heroes of Kolb? Okay, they are in Stein's main base. Yeah. But what are they doing again? Stop, what? Uh, okay, friendship is over. 
I'm not sure what stop out. means. Like, should he stop on t going on Stein or? I because Cole thinks that he needs Stein, or they need Stein. They need to three v one Sheik, which might be correct. Yeah, that's what he's meant. Stop, stop, kill Stein. Yeah, they might need him. They might need the Alchemist Transmute to even out the economy because Sheik is so rich. So yeah, it took a lot. <laughs> To come to an agreement here, <laughs> a lot of losses here, uh, but finally it looks like uh, they are at the same page uh, with Stein hiding some army top, le uh, top right. I think that makes sense, This, like he needs a win condition and yeah, hidden army is usually a win condition if you don't have high heroes. So yeah, let's see how this is, uh, where this is going from here. Damn, 70 minutes in, no one eliminated. We also saw the cheaper cripple. Good to escape for a while, I guess. Yeah, and I'm just saying, Sheik has to be very, very careful here because it's a four-way, as you said, and yeah. that this means they can team Sheik to death because everyone else is clearly not strong enough to just win a one versus two guaranteed because they're, they are all very low on golden bases. And also the supply not the best. So yeah, Sheik has to be super careful here and preferably has to take out someone as ASAP. Because otherwise they might just rerun him to death now. Hmm. Which I think should be the best play for them, for each of them, like give each of them the highest chances to win the game. And Bobby goes on Stein again, so oh. uh, I don't agree. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's on the same page but Bobby. So he says that he's gonna give a free win to Eek if he's in a freeway. And yeah, this is gonna be wild now again. I think it's unnecessary because now this forces Hope again to help and now we are back to square one pretty much where <laughs> yep. Bobby is now on Cope and... Uh, Stein is also forced to go on Bobby and Sheik is taking the invitation and will now also go on Bobby and now it takes some more communication to see say that Sheik is now on Bobby and yeah. Sheik is they having don't, a they great have zero time. chance without Bobby against Sheik. Yeah, Sheik is having a great time. He's just picking his targets. Where should my blade storm end up on? Oh that panda of yours? I take that. That's good experience. I want my level tens. <laughs> Okay, Corp is saying, suggesting he should go on his main. As there is a sentry ward and he sees that Sheik is there with 87 supply. Surprised why it's not 100. And Sheik just runs away because everyone else is relatively slow in comparison. Yeah, he's not taking the fight yet. Okay, so Bobby at least has a peasant saved in the Zeppelin, that's good. But it's always a super risky here, one peasant only. Okay, can they and Yeah, I guess Bobby's getting frustrated. Yo, and that definitely sounds not like it. His way. But yeah, I mean, it was his initial fault to help Stein against Sheik. Like, Stein would have just died and they could have a proper freeway, I guess. Hmm. Or he could have gone on Kolb at the same time instead of going on to help in a four-way, which is pretty much the most frustrating thing, I think, if someone gets help in a four-way. And Sheik uses the Blade Storm <laughs> into nothing. Yeah, that was uh, odd, but... Shadowhunter stomped and dead. Oh, Kolbas, you poor soul. That's probably not going to be good for you without healing. <laughs> to 
blade stomp in a row. Oh, that was a bad blade stomp. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we know. saw a bla bad blade stomp as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he just dived uh, straight into the grave. That hurt. Yeah, and suddenly Bobby's on his own. Against almost 100 supply sheet. Ooh, good breath. <laughs> Ooh, but there is Stein coming to the rescue. Yeah, this will oh. turn the tide. Or, okay, maybe not. Let me set it again. Dude, the Wyvern damage is pretty crazy against all of this. Yeah, and so much HP here on the Panda. Wow, and so much healing. It's like 1k healing. Oh, with the Banish, but no more Banish, I guess. As the Blood Mage dies and Bobby pretty much... Wow. A little bit of a rage quit, but it's understandable. Yeah. Uh, there was pretty much not the greatest chance anymore here. Unfortunate that they couldn't align. And after successfully weakening Bobby, uh, not realizing how strong Sheik is. I mean, Corp kind of realized that Sheik yeah. is super strong. Like, Corp wanted to uh, encourage the free versus one, which was, I guess, maybe even needed, right? I'm not sure. But maybe they really needed Stein in order to be able to uh, get uh, Sheik down. I'm not too sure about it, but I don't think it was the best play by Bobby to just go on Stein over and over again. Maybe just accept to go for a 3v1 for a bit. My hero is stuck? What? <laughs> now he can move. Hero stuck. Uh, where could that be? The TC. Okay, nice. Yeah, Sheik now pillaging the main of Bobby. Oh man, getting even richer. He lost a few resources down to 7.6k, but it's still heads and shoulders above everyone else. It feels like it's just a matter of time. Uh, I think also... Oh, are we re rebuilding? Yep, we are. We got a little bit of an army by Stein. Let's just yep. pray that this... Uh, out. Yeah, it's very hard now with the alchemists mm. to get away from a blade master. Because usually you had a staff at least, but with a pickaxe you have no chance to staff. This is not going well for <laughs> poor Stein. <laughs> no. It's not doing anything. No, no, no. <laughs> Cobb is just assuming that he lost the army. Nice. Yeah, he kind of did. <laughs> Oh, see, he's chasing mm, yeah, his bloodlust. Really yep. <laughs> is he stuck there now? Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's a cute move, but <laughs> well, in the Acropolis, it's <laughs> not too effective. And that's gonna be it. There goes the hidden army. Yep. G -G. Gonna practice a little bit on that, Mr. Stein. <laughs> Oh man, we good scout by Sheik. Well done. Yeah, but still a fun game. Like, I really enjoyed the hero combination of Bobby, but it also clearly showed its weaknesses without having mass TP. It's so hard to fight teaming because you're just so slow and always have to kind of straight up fight if you want, which is really hard to do, especially if you are refusing to go 100, as Bobby likes to do. Yeah, also showed the strength of Bladestorm, clearly. Yeah, definitely, yeah, the Bladestorm was really, really sick this entire game. 
like against buildings, against backlines, it's just amazing. And also now the rusty mining pick is a great addition for a blade master. So yeah, blade master is just starting from the mirror image buff or was the blade storm cooldown buff before? I don't even remember. But yeah, it's just going one direction, and that's a very rough one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, feels uh, very unnecessary, but all right, they got their own mind. Sheik finds the necropolis, and that is that an elimination. Yep, Stein is out, and I guess Kolb will follow very soon with the GGs. Sheik does it. Combined attack versus Bobby. And then from there on out, it was a pretty easy win for him. Yep. A little bit of communication issues, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, after, overall, Cheek played well. Um, Bobby also played well, I think. But yeah, communication needs some practice, I guess. And also some early game decision making, like helping in the four ways, always. Mm, yeah, questionable. If you're not 100% uh, certain of why you are doing it, you shouldn't, because, yeah, getting into the freeway should always be better. And, yeah, that game showed that, and that's the first FFA on PTR. Yeah, let's see if there's uh, more iterations. Uh, we will have a close eye to it and see if uh, we have new balance next week or another PTR game or regular game. Uh, we will definitely be here next week once again, every Monday, 8 p.m. Rulers at the FFA gang. Thank you very much for putting this together. Once again, we learned a lot. And now have a wonderful evening. Greetings to the family. And we see each other. Gotta look this up. Because I got a lot of meetings these days. Um... Doobie Cup on Wednesday sounds good. China Korea Thursday sounds good. So tomorrow might be a day off or a ladder or something. We'll see. Just check the channel. And that's the best reason to follow the channel. So you're always up to date and get the notifications. Same goes for the YouTube people. Glad you're tuning in. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye bye.